The Washington Courthouse Blue Lions come into this one looking to get a win and put themselves back at 500. As they host the Jackson Ironmen, we're looking to remain perfect in conference play. Jackson will start out hot in this one as they force a punt on the Blue Lions first drive and Jacob Winters finds a huge hole in the Blue Line defense and takes it 61 yards down the sideline to set the Ironmen up at the 5. Jackson would quickly take advantage as Eli Broerman runs into the Washington Courthouse defense but keeps those legs turning and fights into the end zone to put Jackson up a touchdown. Still in the first quarter, Jackson forces a fumble that's recovered by Brody Butcher and that leads to the strike by Jacob Winters to Cade Wolford who walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Jackson would give themselves good field position again as Jabril Hall breaks through to block the punt and Jacob Winters would capitalize with the arm again, this time finding Brody Butcher in the end zone from 10 yards out. Then, the Blue Lions' desperate first score would find just that on a four-yard touchdown pass from Troy Thompson to Isaiah Haithcock. Washington Courthouse would get the ball back off the interception, but a snap over the head of Troy Thompson resulted in possession for the argument inside the five-yard line. This resulted in a short touchdown by Eli Browerman to put Jackson up 28-7. After this, it was two field goals for Ethan Crabtree that would round out the first half as he drilled one right before the end of the half to send Jackson to the locker room with a 34-7 lead. Jackson kept their foot on the gas from there on out as they cruised to a 62-27 win and stay undefeated in the conference. Washington Courthouse will look to bounce back next week against the Hillsboro Indians. From Gridiron Glory, I'm Zach Mothersbaugh.